Hello everyone, my name is Webweaver and welcome back to World of Horror. So this should be, uh, if I recall correctly, we're out of the backlog by the time you watch this video. And the new update dropped. Now it's a very small update, it doesn't have a lot in it. Uh, it's mostly a modding update that allows J-U-A-C-R, by the way. It's a modding uh, update that allows you to essentially create uh, custom enemies and implement them into the game. Uh, I'm not entirely sure how to do that yet, but there is a an example enemy that has been added uh, in the modding menu. Now, I didn't really think about who we were going to play before I turned the camera on. Last time we played Miku, and uh, we did... I don't actually remember what combination we did on the last episode. But let's play... I don't think we've played Aiko in a while, have we? Yeah, I think we haven't played Aiko in a while. Um, so that will be... that will be pretty good. Now what... Uh, let, let me bring up really quickly... Where is my World of Horror document? There it is. I'm just gonna take a look at it real quick. We haven't checked any boxes with Ico yet. So let's do... Let's do something easy, because the next episode I'm planning on doing a challenge run, so... And that challenge run is going to be insane. So we'll do... Hunted by the Cult with Goizo. You know, something rather unusual happened when I, uh... So these videos, well, most of them have been, uh... The previous, like, three or four videos were batch recorded. And this is the first time I'm recording World of Horror in a few days. Or, I suppose it's the first time I'm recording World of Horror in, like, four days. Uh, but something unu uh, unusual happened, uh, just for... so we only have to go over it once. Doom was moved up here, uh, next to the bullets, so there's no longer a thing right here. The, there's no Doom bar here anymore. So, if you want to see the Doom, it's at the top of the screen. And it's got this cool kind of, like, darkness encroaching upon the town, which is actually pretty cool. Uh, we'll just, we'll just start off here, but some, something unusual happened. Uh, relatively speaking. Also, I recently rediscovered that you can, uh, sometimes open this and get, like, a free item. I'm not entirely sure. The last couple of times I played, I got, like, a, a water bottle, but I guess not anymore. Uh, let's get that, uh, Moriko event proc'd real quick, in case we get bad perks and we gotta take out Doorsman. Gets us 10 EXP and saves us a couple of reasons, so I think it's worth doing. Especially if that reason becomes clutch in the end. But, uh, I, I found myself doing... Um... Well, start here, get the, the seeing dust. Uh, I actually found myself playing uh, World of Horror for, like, a few hours off-camera. Which I didn't think I was gonna do, cause I... Whoops. Okay, for a second there I thought we took the seventh curse, so I was confused why we didn't have money, but that's that's fine. Um, no, we, we took uh, we took Hunted by the Cult. Hunted by the Cult Goizo, that's what we did. Oh, we can take the quick route here. I don't care about our stamina if we lose it. That's a, a little bit of a shame. But, uh, you know, like... Oh, I thought we got a negative status effect. Um, hmm. We could balance out our reason if we did this, but I think we'll just... If we break the window, then we need to go to the tree and uh, get a, a, a curse. So I think we'll go to the tree and get the curse real quick. Um, yeah, I was actually just playing World of Horror off camera, and I was playing it quite a lot. Not a big deal. Uh, I was playing it quite a lot, and uh, I was having a I was having a lot of fun actually. 
I hadn't, uh... We forgot to boop the dog, didn't we? Darn. Um, do we want to go back, get cursed again, and then try to get a compass? I, I think that's probably worth it. That, yeah, that's, yeah. That, it was the correct play. The problem, though, is how many times are we going to have to reroll for a compass? I, I'm always glancing down here, but I have to keep reminding myself that Doom is up here. Also, with this update, Yagathag got fixed, so we don't need the house rule anymore, which is fantastic. I do think that going to the monument... I, I don't... I, I think going to the monument is still, uh... Allowed. Uh, it doesn't make Yagathag mad. But the witch doesn't protect you anymore, and the, uh... The police station certainly doesn't either. So, it, it, it's, it's a good time to be, uh... It's a good time to play Yagathag, actually. Probably should have done Yagathag now that I think about it. But let's, uh, let's get that compass. Let's get that compass. Let's get that compass. Listen, that's not, uh, 25% doom this early is pretty terrible. But we can, we can monument pretty easily. And I think, ultimately, it is going to be worth it. Because you want to pick up the compass as soon as possible. We're going to take a hit to our reason, but that's fine. Oh, absolutely, brother. I will always help you get down the stairs. You'd have to be a, uh, a freaking jerk not to help a man out. But not only was I playing World of Horror on my off time, I actually played it a lot, right? Like, I recorded for... I recorded videos for about four or five hours, and then when I woke up the next morning, I just started playing World of Horror again, and uh, I was actually pretty well. I mean, we failed it, so it doesn't really matter how much we fail it by, but that's a, a little crazy, if I do say so myself. Uh, yeah, so I just kind of sat down and I played World of Horror for a few for a few hours. Bro, I think the EXP is worth it. Like, I, I don't respect stamina as much as I should. And, you know, by uh, just kind of relaxing and playing World of Horror off-camera... I said World of Horror, like, 18 times in the past, like, two minutes. I do apologize for that. But just kind of playing off-camera, I, I kind of got uh, inspired, you know? I, I don't know if you noticed, but in the uh, Moriko video, which is... Uh, two, three episodes ago? I think it's two episodes ago. But I am kind of going off the top of my head. Anyways, that's not important. Um, wait, hold on. Fifteen, darn. Okay, we need to... I mean, we dodge. Just because, why not? But, uh... And then can we do this? Yeah, we can. Hate that? Eh, it doesn't really matter at all. No, that's that's not good enough. That is absolutely not good enough. So we gotta dodge again, which is a little bit weird. And then I think what we're actually gonna do is let's buff this up to 80. And maybe this is not gonna work. Okay, yeah, we could only do 70, which is a little bit unfortunate. Okay, so we'll, we won't recover stamina then. We'll get this up too. Can we actually just prep that and then dodge? I don't... Yes, we can. Okay. So we should be able to send her next turn. It's a shame that we didn't land a 40% chance. But, you know, it is what it is. Oh, no, dude, you can't give me the... You can't give me the bug right now. Really? So hold on, is it like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight? Can you do you can do more than eight in this game. Or maybe you can't? I guess eight is the hard cap. That's a little bit disappointing. Because it just punishes you for existing. Um we we still should be able to do this. Well. Hold on, hold on, hold on. What if we kind of, like... Yeah, okay, so we can have uh, two 80% chances. I like that. 
I mean, if we miss, it's not... I was about to say, if we miss, it's not game over. We're close to game over, but it's not game over. We're actually quite... We're actually quite content here. You, you might think it's crazy, but we don't have any injuries. Nope. Don't care. You politely decline. Goodbye. Oh, I clicked the wrong button, dude. I'm throwing. Okay, we are actually dead. Um, okay, we are super dead. I cannot... I clicked the wrong button. Whoops. Okay. We're dead, by the way. Like, there's literally no way. Unless... I mean, we have to do, like... <laughs> no, no, there's no way. Okay, get, get me out of here. Just, just get me out of here. I can't believe I misclicked that. That was super, that was super bad. I was just like, spam. I was just like, get me through here. Get me into the... Get me out of here. I already know what I'm doing. We've been through this a thousand times, but yet I frigged it up anyways. Oh, well, it happens. Uh, TLXZB. I'll, I'll, of course, give you another one after that. I mean, I could just, like, restart the video as well and just pretend that never happened, but eh, it's whatever. So we were doing Hunted by the Cult and Glizo. I, I like how I started off by saying, you know, let's just do something easy for fun and then immediately throw. Like, probably one of the biggest throws of my entire freaking... See, we got some of that time. That was a bit weird. We got library notes. Well, you want to see another throw right there? That's another throw for you. We could have just lost one reason instead. Akamanto, Pervert, Festival, Moonlight, Botany. So there's no mermaids, right? Okay. So I suppose... I mean, we got a pretty easy line here. I can't believe I misclicked that. Do we want to get the key? Are we going to the school at all? I mean, I don't really care. We're not. We don't have spine chilling story of school scissors, so there's no point in getting the key. I mean, you can get the key and like do the the goblet thing, but it's like, do you really want to do that? Hold on. Let's just do this twice. That's fine. It's not branded. It's just cursed signs. Now the question is. What are we gonna get? A steak knife is a pretty good one. And then I think we just go back to the compass. We got it early. Honestly, I would have taken a flashlight as well. And we're obviously hoping to sell a jar of blood so that we can go back and buy a flashlight. Because a jar of blood is very strong. But you know, I've been really thinking, oh, that works too. That, that completely works too. Thank you, kind donor. Now, let's see. We could get a camera. Do we want a camera? Not really. Not not really at all. Please. Please, I beg you. Thank you. That's 27% uh, doom. Honestly, again, not that bad. I, I don't respect... Uh, if we were at, like, 40% doom, I'd be... I, I think we'd lose, but... 30% doom, first mystery, is completely manageable. It is, like... I, I do realize we have library notes now, which is a, a spell on demand. But, oh... We have a better chance of calming her down here. But the problem is that I don't really want to lose reason. So we'll check the bathroom. And, I mean, we did it, so it doesn't matter, but... We were basically just clicking a minus two stamina button. But one thing, one thing that I'm going to do in the future that I've actually been really excited to do... And also, I just want to make sure you guys can't see the notepad, right? Okay. I just... The notepad was over OBS for me. Oh no, it's this guy. Um, oh god, oh no. Well, I, it's Goizo, so bye. Uh, one thing that I've been inspired to do is I'm actually gonna start making... Yeah, I'm gonna be this guy. I'm gonna start making, like, World of Horror tier... We don't really need to... We don't really need to take a bath, but... 
so we'll 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 be sweaty, both uh, game terminology wise and I suppose in game, as its description from the event states. Oh, spooky! What are we gonna find? Oh no! I also see that the text is still off of the off of the box, huh? That's okay. But we're gonna we're gonna make some world of horror. I, tier list is probably the wrong word because I well I do want to make a world of horror tier list at some point for like survivors, but I need to play the game way more. Like once I get to like a hundred hours, then maybe I'll be able to accurately judge them. Because, I mean, really, the only thing that I can kind of give you is that, you know, Mizuki, Yashiro, and Moriko are completely broken. Aiko is very strong. Koiji Haru sucks. Kairi is... has a good stat line. That's about it. Mimi is difficult to use, but potentially strong, you know? Like, that's just... You know, I guess if I ever make a tier list, there you go. You don't you don't have to click on it, you already know. Uh definitely want the EXP boost here. We don't need to do we need to Yeah, let's let's go. Let's let's activate the monument. We've already bought everything that we need from the dog, so it doesn't it doesn't really matter. We'll, we'll pop vending machine in case he leaves. And we need to like get an emergency healing item. But if you're relying on the vending machine, I think everything's gone horribly wrong. Because, like, a bottle of water costs three funds, which is just completely ridiculous. Like, I mean, you could go to the hospital and get, like, experimental treatment for three. I don't really want to fight Akamanto yet, especially because we don't have the dust of seeing. Honestly, Bizarre Brute, that's probably the best way to go. But, uh, one video that I actually do think that I'm qualified to make that's not like an in-depth tier list, is like a, uh, a a general summary of the characters. And I'm, we're gonna do something spicy here, all right? We're gonna go to the library and we're gonna study a spell. And we got the Knopfa Ritual, which is when your allies die, gain a, ran a random status gets raised by one. I don't think we're gonna get allies, but if we get one, we might as well, uh, I don't have the achievement for having an ally die in combat, so I suppose that... Uh, I suppose we could activate that and then maybe get a little bit of value out of it. What does Abolish do again? Oh, that could... Oh, wow. We might actually end up using this because we are going up against Akamanto. And if we decide to go up against his uh, true form, then that could be incredibly handy. In fact, the earlier that we go fight Akamanto, the better because of that spell now. Although I do want to be like level 2 or 3 before fighting him. Well, actually, no. Because he's going to do 2 to all or 3 to all when we get there. And so it's worth casting either way. Or is it? I don't know. I guess we'll, uh, we'll, we'll think about it when we get there. This is major deja vu, by the way. Except this time our stamina is great, so let's just let's just do this. I don't. Let's just do it. Well, we we got there pretty easily. Um, oh, never mind. Potentially. I mean, it's it'll be a ninety percent chance. Like, come on, what are that is four, right? Okay, that's four. What what are the odds? I mean, I was tempting fate there for certain, especially because well. I'm never gonna forget. It was the Moriko episode, right? Where we missed three 90% in a row. I, I will never forget that. World of Terror. Let's crash the game. Nothing happens. You hate to see it. But yeah, just kind of like a... Circling back around uh, earlier. Just kind of like a little character overview as a treat, you know? Just sort of like, hey, this is... If you're playing Aiko, you want to go buy a steak knife. If you're playing Mimi, you want to get this item. You know, 
just sort of like things that you can do to kind of, uh, to make your character a little bit stronger. Or not necessarily make things a little bit stronger, but just make things easier on yourself. Increase your chances of winning, I guess. Uh, run, dude. Oh, thank God we got that. I hate this event so much. It's actually pretty funny. When this event was introduced into the game, or at least when we first found it, we nailed the introduce yourself, like, I, I, I think like five or six times in a row. Like, we never failed it for the longest time. And then when we finally failed it, and I found out that you got injured because of it, I was like, oh no. And then we just went on like a streak of constantly failing it. It was the funniest thing. All right, we are in the forest right now, but I don't. Listen, can we save Moriko? Yes. Are these perks particularly good? No, I, I honestly... You could make an argument for saving Moriko. Um, the problem, because here's the thing, if you don't save Moriko, you get minus two reason. And so, we could literally just take this for the sole purpose of we don't want to lose two reason. Because our dexterity, regard, like, is nine or ten that big of a deal? Like, I honestly don't think attack speed is the problem right now. It's our accuracy. So you know what? Screw it. Let's save Moriko. I'm going to be immediately vindicated if we actually find... What? Oh, we forgot to do the TV, dude. I'm stupid. We did the TV on the run that we threw. Ah... Uh... It's fine. Oh, that's not fine at all. That's not fine at all. This is not fine at all. This is looking to be a complete and utter throw. In every sense of the word, I have threw. Ugh. You hate to see that. And it's got 30 power, so we're still bad. Oh, no. Okay, so that's... This kills. So we just have to... Uh, we just have to rely on the, the heart of the game, huh? Oh, wait, what? Wait, what? Wait, what? I'm so confused. Just hold on. We can... 4, 5, 6, 7, 8... Bro, this game is tripping me out. Because look at this, right? Wait. Okay, I'm very confused. I could have swore I clicked that five times. But you know what? It's fine. That's so silly that you can't go over eight actions a turn, though. That's so weird. Wait, what? Oh, crap. <laughs> I realize what I did wrong there. I did two normal attacks. What is with me today, dude? I've been making wrong choice after wrong choice. Am I going too quick? I'm actually slowing myself down a lot. I guess I'm focusing more on the commentary than the gameplay? I don't know, dude. Well, our knowledge is terrible, so we absolutely cut it open. We don't really need the stamina, because our reason is our lower stat right now, but... I don't know, man. I think I'm good at talking about how you should play the game properly, but I'm actually bad at playing the game properly, which is very unfortunate, considering that it's a, <laughs> it's a, a turn-based strategy game. Can we do a... Can, can we do a... Yeah, okay, 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 okay. So I'm gonna... I'm gonna do a little double take from now on. Just to kind of make sure I'm not throwing. I would like to dodge. Thank you very much. So this gets us there. That is 10 damage. Unless I'm hallucinating. No, that's, da that's 10 damage. 100%. I am very confused. I don't know why. I guess I'm just not on the ball today. Eh, it happens. Some days you're just not, uh, not as alert as you usually are. Which kind of sucks, but, you know. This is three. This gets us up to... Okay. So we can make one of these. Uh, we gotta rely on a single 90%. Let's go, boys. Okay. That's fine. Um... 
we did get the uh, the three stamina from what's its name, so I don't really think. Uh, we do have plus one lock, so let's. So here's the thing. The correct choice is start running. 100, 100 times out of 100, the correct choice is start running. But we took outdoorsmen, so let's leverage it. <laughs> okay. I, I just, I had to do that. Because if we can't save Moriko, then at least we can make a luck check or two. Falling through the hole in the floor. It's Shiro-san. Well, I hate to say this, Shiro, but uh, we're just gonna let you get uh, get killed here because I would like to defeat Shiro-san and gain twenty experience points. Thank you very much. Ending D. There is no hope. But yet it gives us minus doom, so there is hope. There's totally hope. All right. So, I do like perception, and I don't really care about charisma, but fast swimmer is a great perk, and we should take it 100% of the time because it's just too good. Now, the question is, do we want to shore up our strength stat? Do we want to get our dexterity to a very, very good spot? Or would, you, or would we like to ascend our perception? Or try to band-aid knowledge and charisma. I think that with Fast Swimmer, uh, we do not need to touch Dexterity for a while, so we will go with Strength. I think... The, the problem with Aiko is she has a, a hard time leveraging her... I mean, would you say social stats like knowledge and charisma? She's got great combat. And she's got great combat, though, for certain. Like, her strength, dexterity are great, and she's got a very easy-to-increase perception stat. Very, very good left stats. Right stats are kind of terrible, uh, which honestly is not that bad, because she does have, like, she, I mean, she literally has one of the best perks in the game, so... I think we honestly take the EXP here. I don't really care about stamina and reason is a little bit uh, I don't do I want to do Akamanto I mean yeah we could do Akamanto now I actually maybe want to end with fear no no we do Akamanto and then we heal up and we do sailors last which is when we'll uh We'll heal up with uh, Festival, and then we'll just sacrifice ourselves to the monument like 50 times, and uh, it should go pretty well. Hello, can you tell me about Akamanto? Tell me about Akamanto. Tell me about the man in the bat. Okay. What do you give me? Plus one reason and stamina. Alrighty. Oh no. Minus one perception. You know what? We don't have the thing of allies dying in combat, so let's keep her for now. Our perception's still great. Now, the question is, um, I guess we're not gonna fight Eldritch Akamanto, are we? No, we probably should. Okay, send it again. Please, I beg you. I hate you all. I hate you all. Please, I beg you heard about this computer program. Okay, oh, I hate every single one of these people. You know what? Screw you. I mean, <sighs> all right, listen. We'll, we'll do it one more time. Thank you. Who are you? Who are you, student? What student are you? You're, you're the best boy. Thank you. You're going in the thumbnail for your absolute service. And everybody else, I, I hate every single one of you. And... What? What do you mean, dude? Alright, whatever. We're still in a good spot to win. We can just... We have such a, um... We have such a good line with... Okay, I mean... 
<laughs> it's a waste of time, come on. I don't want to get plus doom. If we get plus doom, we're actually throwing. Does the wailing in the bathroom stalls, does that count as a, a, a clue for Akamanto? I don't remember. It... Oh, hey, we did it. We got a strength check. Why is that a strength check? Huh. Anyways. If we could... I'm actually kind of looking for... I guess in this case we actually do fondest memory. It's very awkward, but... We're probably... No, we can't rest before Akamanzo, can we? Well, we'll get rid of... Uh... Oh, jeez. Hate this. Or never... It's Ryoko? Yo, let's go, the park ranger. Oh, by the way, just a, a little quick tip, because we never see Ryoko ever. Like, we've only got her, like, two or three times in this entire series. When there's an event that says se that requires Park Ranger, never click it, ever. Because Ryoko is arguably... I mean, come on. She might actually just be the best companion in the game. And so just never click that button that says need park ranger ever. Just just don't do that. Just 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 don't don't do that. Because we we've done it and I regretted it immediately. It's actually kind of stupid because it's like the one instance in the game where clicking the uh where clicking the like the requires a, a perk or an ally thing. It's the, it's like the one instance in the game where that just like sucks. Like, just so much. Like, there's no benefit to it whatsoever. And it's just, oh no. Goizo, I beg you, please don't make me panic. Please don't make me panic, Goizo. Okay, that's fine. So here, here's the thing, right? <laughs> we, we, forget the, okay, this, this is gonna be stupid. This is gonna be stupid, but we're gonna win. We don't have a bullet, so we're just gonna throw the hunting rifle at him. I don't want to fight, so we'll check it out. The Karakusa mask is... <laughs> absolutely god-awful to the point where we're gonna throw it at... We're gonna throw it at Akamanto as well. I don't want anything from you, bud. Oh my god. Alright, let's just throw stuff at him. Reality starts to crumble. You know it. Just, just pelt them, dude. Just pelt them. It is a shame that we will not be... He's just doing two. Like, I almost don't even want to use this, but we will. Just because that's... We've literally never done it before, so we might as well just try it once. And you know what else we might as well try once? All right, whatever, who cares? It doesn't matter, get out of here. Goodbye. Wh where are you? You've defeated Akamanto. We didn't even have time to process that we were in another eldritch dimension. We just, they can be beaten. Drive them back. I need to do more Darkest Dungeon stuff. I like, I like that game, it's really good. Perception and knowledge. Well, we are gonna go do the festival, so we might as well take folklore. Now, the question that remains is... I mean, we're gonna full heal on for folklore, pretty much guaranteed. Although, it, is, it would be kind of... It's still kind of risky. We bypass Goizo, though. I honestly don't really, like... What's given us minus perception, by the way? Oh, yeah, one of the allies. Okay, let's just... We can just let her go, and then our perception is great. To the point where we don't have to. You know what? Yeah, it doesn't really... We're gonna own Sen, so we're gonna take plus reason. What do you have to say for yourself? Did you hear that? Never mind. We're in my house. Get out of here. Go home. Contaminated water. Again, like, usually contaminated water is, like, one of the worst things in the game, but it really doesn't matter here. Like, pretty much zero. Now, hold on a minute. The TV's still here, and we're going back to the forest, so there is a theoretical chance that we can see the Moriko event again. 
because you can get it multiple times a run. So now that we've been to the TV, and now that we we have Outdoorsman, it's the first perk that we took. We go to the Fear Festival. And by the Fear Festival, I mean that Onsen sounds nice. What's the worst thing that could happen? Dunka, dunka. I really do like this game's soundtrack. It's absolutely fantastic. And I believe, I don't know if it's just for Miku, because I was playing Miku pretty much exclusively when I was uh, playing off camera. Uh, but when you win, there is a new jingle. And I, I don't know if it's just for... I don't know if it's just for um, Miku specifically, but I am pretty looking. I'm pretty much looking forward to that. Check out your room. No, we're not gonna do the the innkeeper thing. I don't really like. I mean, we could go try to recruit a new companion, I guess. Why not? That's buying souvenirs, isn't it? Oh god, I just threw. <laughs> sure, why not? So we need to do this... four times? Ate that, but it is what it is. I, I do kind of want to go for an ally, though. Like, for real. This is a perception check, and I believe this is a luck check. So let's do the perception check. Oh, so close. I think this is the last time we can do this. So yeah, you know what? Let's get let's get crazy. Let's let's look for a friend. Asato, what do you do again? I don't he's a spell boy, isn't he? I mean, we haven't seen Asato in, like, forever, so we might as well hit this button. Sure, we got pancakes. Who cares? What's up, Asato? Let go, gain two spells. Okay. It's not safe here. You decided to block the entrance to your room with a nightstand. The festival is ending tomorrow. So we got, we got pancakes, so we can, just, we can just heal up at any time, pretty much. Tataru is, like, I mean, come on... He's the, he, come on, he's got it. He, he, he's, he, come on. <gasps> Amazing. That's incredible, actually. That's a good job, Tataru. Uh, it's, a, it's incredible. Y your dodging is unparalleled, actually. So the, here's the thing. We're going to get out of this pretty easily. This is a knowledge check. This is a luck check. Ladies and gentlemen, outdoorsmen coming in clutch. And by that, I mean Outdoorsman literally doesn't matter at all. Because we rolled a 2, and we have 7 luck. Well, we would have 6 luck, so... It doesn't matter. Yeah, I mean, we, we, we got there. We just gotta explore this once. This sucks. Because this is Doom, isn't it? Yep, that's Doom. That's okay. It's your aunt's voice. We knew you'd come. Oh, no. So, we're actually in a... Okay, listen. 80% doom. One mystery left. We're gonna be at, like, 78%. No, we're doing Hunted by the Cult, so we're actually 77% doom after this. Um, That's still not a great place to be when you've got one mystery left to go. Uh, however, there is an important... Uh, we actually have a lot more health than you might think, because we have Pancakes, which also heals Doom, and we have Asato, which gives us two reason. So I need to remember to send an ally at somebody, though, because I want to get that achievement of having an ally die in combat. Because I don't, I don't think combat is actually going to give us a lot of trouble, so we can't, uh, it's glistening, so it doesn't matter. Just for the record, right? Okay, I was just making sure we didn't, uh, we didn't accidentally not trigger the monolith, because if we didn't trigger the monolith, we would definitely lose, because we basically just have to go to the monolith, like, 15 times in a row. 
we've got the money to leave material gifts for certain. Um, and we have, we can sell the library notes just in case, right? Okay, so if worse comes to worse, we can sell the library. Wow, what is this guy, dude? He just wants money? No. Okay, so sell that and sell the library notes. I hate this guy, dude. All he wants is money. I mean, now I'm scared because if he wants more money, then we got to wait for Jar of Blood. Like, can I just give you a Jar of Blood, my man? Like, I guess not. I, I mean, 63%. We're fine. Uh-huh. Well, we've never succeeded in confronting the man, and we've pretty much won anyways, so let's do it. Ah. <sighs> Okay, come on, come on, come on, come on, I have to. Let's go. Honestly, I think leveling up might be throwing, because there's... What are we going to run into that has, like, enough power to be scary, right? Like, maybe the obsessed man, but we're fast enough to just, uh... We're fast enough to just, uh, prep, kill him. I think, like, we save the level up in case we have to do something a little bit tricky, right? Like, we need to heal as an emergency heal, basically. I mean, I'm a little scared of the seaside, I'm not gonna lie. I, I also hate this, like, a lot, but... We don't, we don't have any, like, sleeper thing, like, branded or something, right? And there's no town status that's gonna kill... Oh, road's closed, huh? I am a little bit scared of Rose, clo Rose Closed. I, I am fairly scared of that because that's actually gotten us killed. Okay, see, like I think that now is a good time to level up because we can take reason pretty efficiently. I mean, we, we probably should have leveled up earlier, but I, I think that there is a, a meta of banking level ups. Well. Well, 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 this is an eldritch enemy. I don't suppose we should do this, huh? Oh, wait, 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 hold on. Hold on. Okay, okay, I, I thought we might have been like, we, we might have had a, a pretty terrible... I mean, hold on, let me just actually count to see if this hits or not to see if this will kill him or not oh my god this kills him let's go well that was completely pointless but uh, at the end it does not matter at all because we ha we have plenty of doom to spare i mean yeah maybe casting abolish is throwing but i i think that our dexterity and strength is high enough that we don't lose the the stamina. And, I mean, we're gonna rest at the, uh, the lighthouse, of course. Also, another thing that I discovered, which is actually pretty cool, although I don't know how to read it yet. Why do we, why do we even go back here? We don't even need to do that. Is that when you approach the lighthouse, and remember, you can approach the lighthouse at the beginning of the game, is these things right here, these little symbols, are the events that you're gonna get inside the lighthouse. So if I had to guess just right off the bat, we got like a little diamond symbol. So I'm going to say that's glass shard. So that's the dexterity check that we're absolutely going to nail. This looks like a little like fruit cherry thing. Maybe like a little, yeah, it looks like kind of like a cherry or like an earring or something. I don't know what that would be. The hand, I don't know what the hand would be either. The uh, freaking symbol of Slanesh over here. I don't know what that would be. Uh, VR. Not entirely certain what that means. Maybe, like, that's, like, Mr. Takahashi's signature or whatever. But this is also, I believe, the order in which you get them. So if I'm right about this, this little diamond thing, this little shard being glass, then that would be kind of cool, actually. But, yeah, these little symbols actually tell you 
uh, what you're gonna get in the lighthouse, and I have no idea how to read them. But that is just something to keep in mind, I suppose. Okay, we can't lose. We are at the health total where we cannot lose. Oh, garbled memories, huh? So that's what the that's what the little shard means. Uh, the second one that we did was botany. Let's go. So I wonder. I really do wonder what the like the VR thing is. Maybe it's not the order, or maybe it's just like the list. I don't know. All I all I know is that I heard on the Steam forums that that's how it worked. And I do not know how to read it. There is apparently a guide on the Steam forums, or on the Steam community page, I should say. Uh, but I did not look at it. <laughs> Come on, man. This girl's so disrespected that her freaking name doesn't even fit in this gosh darn thing. Oh, I totally forgot that the events could be, that you could see where the events came from by hovering over the top corner. That's actually pretty cool. Oh, look at here, the Trial of Blood Electricity, and there's a little hand symbol right there. Oh, I wonder if in every screen... So this is a knowledge check, so we're gonna get zapped. But I, I, I wonder if in every screen there's a symbol that you can see. So there's the hand, so the hand is the, the lightning. That actually makes sense, because you're grabbing the metal rods. Does he have, like, a tattoo? Oh, look, Mr. Takahashi has the little symbol of Slanesh down here on his shirt. So that means that you're gonna fight Takahashi when you see this little circle thingy. Okay, okay. We're learning, we're learning. We're getting the keys to the kingdom. He's completely dead, by the way. Like, he, he's just completely dead. Like, that he has no chance of doing anything. Because, I mean, just look at this, this is terrifying. You, you really can't, like, this is just Aiko in a nutshell. He's dead, dude. So yeah, I'm gonna actually keep looking for those little... Hey, look, right there! VR is the Veil of Darkness. It's a shame that we don't have the flashlight anymore, but we did what we had to do. Regain, yeah, discipline, why not? I mean, this is just a meme at this point, so we can do, uh... We can do plus luck. So that's cool, too. So, like, it looks like a V and an R combined to me, but I suppose the... The correct interpretation would be an R with a squiggly in the front of it, I guess. So that's actually really cool. Get out of here, Goizo, you freaking nerd. Just smash, just, just smash, just smash the... Just smash, just smash. <laughs> Aiko, can you thank you? Thank you, Aiko. There it is, boys. Hold on. Hold on. I gotta give it to you, full. Oh, that's that's a good one. That's a good one for sure. You you love to you love to hear that. What a fantastic jingle. Can I buy the soundtrack by the way? Uh I apologize if I'm getting your username wrong, Panstas, developer. Can I buy the soundtrack? Do you have a SoundCloud? Do you have a Bandcamp? Can I please buy this soundtrack? I love it. Oh no, it's too loud. Oh no, what have I done? Oh, that's okay. Because we're gonna... There's no music until I click here. Thank you. Okay, well, I guess there's this. Oh, I guess it just clicks itself now. Oh god, that's way too loud. Bring it back down to a reasonable level. Anyways. Thank you so much for watching. A little bit of a longer episode, but we did technically do two runs, even if one was a complete and utter throw. Thank you for stopping by. Thank you for watching. Expect more World of Horror content in the future, and also expect things like, um, oh, I don't know, World of Horror 
videos that don't actually contain gameplay as the primary reason you click on it. Like, I don't know. I mean, it's a pretty easy video to make, really. I just tell you that, like, you know, you play Ico, you just buy a steak knife and you win the game. <laughs> All right, everybody, I'll, I'll talk to you later. Stay safe out there. Goodbye.